I tried as hard as I could to pretend that it just had been a dream. You know, the kind of vivid dream where you wake up and everything sort of seems real, but slowly you start to forget until something reminds you. Well, that was the most serious intro we've ever done. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we're doing the Nightmare Returns. You guys may remember the first Nightmare. That was when I got three-starred for the first time in Clan Wars. Literally the first time, but it was my fault. I got three-starred because I had a terrible base. So what's happening today? Well, a similar thing, but I don't have a bad base. Today, I'm getting 3-starred and all the top maxed bases in my clan are getting 3-starred just because they can. So this clan that we got matched up with, they just wanted to 3-star our top guys for fun. It was like they were just proving a point, just like they were kind of making fun of us. What's that finger you flip up when you're trying? You guys know what I mean. So they were doing that just to basically be like, what up? We're gonna crush you. And that's what they did. So it's enjoyable to watch. I mean, there was nothing we could do at the time. You know, we we tried to three star them, but it was tough, man. We can't get we can't three star six people like they did. So we're just gonna watch and enjoy it. This base that I had, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. I'm gonna show you some of the problems right now. See where he dropped his king? He was able to just drop the king right on the wall. And that made it easier. He could drop the king almost inside the base. The king's going to step up and get another air defense. So now he's going to have two air defense taken out. The queen is taken out. The clan castle dragon is going to be taken out. And that's it. What else is a guy like me going to do to protect against a guy like this? By the way, this guy is number 13 in his clan. Not that it matters. I mean, he has max heroes. That's really all you need. But he's not as high high level base as me. Crazy, man. So there we go. And see what happens when you take out a, an air defense on the right and an air defense on the left. You can go straight through the base. And your balloons just, they just cruise. They just take their time going through the base. Hey, what's up? What's up? Just cruising, laughing at you. Because when the balloons can go in a straight line like that, they just destroy. They just destroy. It's crazy, man. What are you going to do against something like this? Nothing. You're just going to sit back and enjoy a good raid. Don't worry about this stuff like this. If you get three starred, even if you have, you know, a sick base like me, it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It's just you got you got matched up against a sick opponent. And I'm going to keep talking about that to you guys in the future. Remember, when you max your defense, there's no going back. You are now going to match against high level people. And if you don't want that, don't max your defenses. Don't rush your defenses. I think everybody should just farm their walls first, you know? Leave your defenses low level. Because once you get them up real high, you're going to match real high level Clan Wars clans. Anyway, we'll keep talking about that in the future until you guys, you know, I just want you guys to be able to make up your mind about that on your own. It's up to you guys, of course. So next, we're going to watch Toby. Toby is just like me. He's the same level base as me, maxed completely maxed so he's number three in the in our clan and he's getting attacked by number one in the enemy clan so of course this guy knows what he's doing he's probably been around for a while yeah so doing a similar attack as the guy that calvin my buddy calvin that attacked me he's doing a similar attack he's gonna go in with the queen on one part go in with the queen and take one air defense and then go in with the king and take a second air defense and then it's just peace bye bye see you later and what can you do? I don't know. I thought his queen was going to go down right there, but that rage ball just barely, barely saved her. Now, I've noticed from watching these replays that if the queen is getting shot by more than two defenses, the attacker has to put down a rage ball. That seems to be a general rule. So if you guys are interested in doing this attack, just remember some of those things and you can be successful with it. I've actually done this attack and on not max bases and it's worked. So anyways... Like I said, same thing. One air defense, two air defense, peace, see you, bye. You know, now the balloons are going to go from one side straight through the middle to the other side. And that's it. That's about it. So the balloons just get spread out a couple on each defense and the hounds go right in the middle. He's got three hounds. Wow. 
I like the, the haste spells. You notice a lot of these attackers are using haste spells, basically just haste spells. And look, he covered the almost the whole base with haste spells. So his balloons are always going to be moving really fast all the way into the other side of the base. So sick. And a max haste spell, it lasts a really long time. I just got mine maxed and I'm really, really happy with them. They're really good. Even with ground troops, they're good. But they're best with balloons. Definitely best with balloons. So that's it. Two cannons. That's it. And uh, look over on the left. Toby's... <laughs> Toby's hound is doing nothing. It's caught on like a healer or something. And it's doing nothing. A hound is actually, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be that great on defense. It's not like there's another option that would be better. But a hound doesn't seem to do much against an attack like this. You can almost just ignore it. You know, the hound goes over there, plays with the healers for a while, and then the raid is over. The raid is done. The raid's gonna be done in 15 seconds to be exact. <laughs> These balloons are going to crush that last building, or two buildings, and that's it. So what are you going to do against the text like this? I don't know. Try to, try to not be there? <laughs> try to not be in the wrong place at the wrong time? I mean, if you go up against some really sick attackers, if they want to three-star you, they will. It's just like in farming. If somebody tries hard enough, they're going to take your loot. If somebody tries hard enough in war, they're going to three-star you. No big deal. So let's watch the final attack. This is actually my favorite. Hogs, buddies. You guys know I love hogs. And against Town Hall 10s, it's not easy. I've probably shown you guys like one hog attack that I've done in the past month or two. And it worked, but it was against a much lower level base than this. This is a maxed base with almost maxed walls. Gonna get three starred by hogs. What? So look at the spell composition. You will see no free spells. Let me tell you what that means. That means this guy is so confident that he's going to take out both Infernos with his three golems and his heroes and one P.E.K.K.A. actually. He's so confident they're going to get the Infernos that he's not even going to bring a free spell. Let's see how it goes. So does he have a jump? Is he going to jump in there? Or no, he's just going to let his troops break the level 10 wall. Totally. Heal spell right where the first bomb is. Perfect placement. Taking out the first Inferno. Hogs aren't even getting touched by the Infernos yet. They're just cruising. They're just cruising. Troops step up to the second Inferno already. And yeah, it's going down. It's going down for real. And uh, second heal spell over there in the corner where I think another bomb is, right? Yeah, looks like all the bombs are in the corners. Homie knows that. So he's going to put the heals right in the corners. Or no, he's going to put that one right there. Good spot, I guess. There were Teslas there. And he also is distracting one of the Teslas with a giant. Good move, good move. Always good to bring some giants in with the hog raid. Because they can distract and they have more hit points than a hog. There we are. Three stars again. The top five guys in my clan. Maxed bases. Getting three starred. Well, most of them. Crazy. Doesn't happen all the time. Usually our lowest five are the ones getting three-starred, if any. But it's cool to see, man. I'm glad this happened, and I'm glad I got to show it to you guys. I'm glad I recorded it. I almost wasn't going to. I was just going to try to forget about it and leave it in the past, pretend it didn't happen. But uh, that's no fun. We're not going to do that. We're going to show you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. I know not everybody likes the high-level war scene, but it's just entertainment, guys. You know, if you're not into this stuff, just, just watch it as entertainment. You know, I know how some of you feel about it, but it is what it is. Don't get your defenses too high-level unless you want to be matching clans like this. If you can't three-star a base that's the same level as yours... Maybe you shouldn't upgrade any higher. You know what I mean by that? Like, I feel like when you're a max town all nine, you should take a look around at your own skills and say, can I three star a max town all nine? If the answer is yes, maybe you should go to town all 10. If not, maybe you should stay for a while and just work on your three star skills. That's just me though. You guys can play however you want. I just want you guys to enjoy the game and, you know, have a good time. And if that means going to town all 10 and getting maxed, do it. I did it, and uh, um, I kind of regret it sometimes, but it's it's fun sometimes, too. So anyways, guys, like I said, that is it for today. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!